This video is titled How They Got Rich by Acting Rich, You Can Too. Okay, but the thumbnail, the thumbnail had Mr. Beast on it though. And Drake. What if I I told you that almost everyone who got rich and famous fast used this method. And the only reason this method works fast is because they use the riches to get more fame, to get more riches, to get more fame, etc. It's called the Influencer Infinite Money Glitch. I'm going to explain the most famous examples of this glitch. Then I'm going to tell you how anyone can do it starting from zero. I might even give you some riches to start with. Let's go. First example, Quan. Quan is the perfect example of this because he literally goes viral on YouTube just for buying nice cars and spending money. His first video when he started the glitch is called buying a Hellcat at 19. Now a Hellcat's a cheap car, it's only a $40,000. No, it's not. A Hellcat is not 40,000 unless it has 100,000 miles and it's used, buddy. Bro, since when the f was Hellcat's cheap? This gotta be rich or he's literally pretending to be rich. This is so meta, but he could be doing the thing he's talking about. He really could be doing the thing he's talking about. 40K is on the lowest end, but it would have to be a really beaten up Hellcat, bro. It would have to be a really beaten up Hellcat. The car, and it's a Mopar. The only place I would drive a Mopar is off a of cliff, but kids like Hellcats. If the Don't ever disrespect Mopars, my nigga. I'm team Mopar, you know I got the TRX, so we don't appreciate that disrespect at all, my nigga. Go pay double the amount for your little BMW or Mercedes then, nigga. Go. Title was I'm buying a Toyota Land Cruiser. He would have got like 10 views, even though that's a more expensive car. Then he starts making hella videos about the Hellcat. Muffler delete on the Hellcat. Why buy the kid on the Hellcat? Then this nigga buys another Hellcat. Yo, Devontae, about that Hellcat. Before he could even afford the Hellcat, he was getting Hellcat views, clickbaiting people, saying, Am I buying a Hellcat today? Now he's making so much money from the YouTube videos. Long story short, he kept making. <laughs> yo, yo, that's some funny shit. Nah, nah, but <laughs> <coughs> fuck, bro. Fuck, nigga said before he could afford the Hellcat. The videos about the Hellcat. Muffler <laughs> delete on the Hellcat. Why body kid on the Hellcat? Then there's nigga. That's fair though, bro. If you know niggas give a fuck about some shit, you can make videos about it, bro. Simple as that. Like chat, he's right. The Land Cruiser is not going to get you no money, no views, or nothing like that. But the Land Cruiser is still a great car. The Land Cruiser probably is one of the cars that retains its value the best out the whole industry, bro. It's a great vehicle. But, like, still, I get it, though. Like, yeah, I get it. Nigga buys another Hellcat and makes a whole other series of videos about that Hellcat. Before he could even afford the Hellcat, he was getting Hellcat That matters, that matters cooked people now, saying, though. Am I, I don't think that matter works no more. This is not on accident, though. Now he's making so much money from these YouTube views. Long story short, he kept making content. If you add up all the views from all his Hellcat videos and estimate an average CPM, which means how much you get paid per video view. He made forty to $50,000 off of those Hellcat views. There's also important steps he took with the content. He started making way longer content because YouTube's goal is not really to entertain you, it's to keep you on the app for as long as possible. That's why I give you guys a free gift if you show me you watched all my videos. He just kept doing the same thing. He kept trading up and trading up. Now he has a McLaren and an AMG GTS. He went from bullshit scat packs to $200,000 cars. He went Tough. from wearing fucking plastic chains to real deal bust downs. And it all started with that one Hellcat. Now I'll show you how to get your Hellcat to start this glitch later in the video. Another YouTube example, DDG. Look at this video of DDG. I had $60,000 in the bank when I got that i8. Following month, I made 100k. It's an investment. He only had 60k in his bank account, dead broke, and he spent all of that money on a BMW i8 that he made so many videos about that he made 100,000 the very next month. So that's the YouTuber influencer infinite money glitch. You spend hella money acting rich for your videos, that's so you crazy. get more views. You get paid that's for those crazy. views, so you spend more money on acting rich for your videos, which gives you more views, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now DDG is just starting off as a rapper, but would you be surprised if the greatest rapper did this method? Keep watching. You know who else does this? Mr. Beast, the most subscribed YouTuber. Now he buys the nice cars and shit for everyone else instead of himself but still and the way mr beast did it was actually beautiful his first big video came from a sponsor so already he was getting a bit of money from the views but now he's getting even more money from a sponsor that the average youtuber would put in his own fucking pocket mr beast gave it back to the fans it's sponsored by quid you know they gave me money and i'm giving away their money and did a video called tipping pizza delivery drivers like 500 bucks or something he invested more money but he got way more views but he just like a lot of people on this list ended up using cars his next major video right after that 
that was homeless man buys a lamborghini big ass lamborghini in the thumbnail just like Quan had hellcats in the thumbnail and obviously that brought him in a ton of money and a ton more sponsors which you can invest in getting more yo i watched a video on this yesterday from matt pat who was talking about something similar it's like rich bait content i guess but it's like also this is the type of stuff that obviously is going to do better because like not everybody could just get a lamborghini so or a hellcat or a demon or whatever car or a lamb truck so when people do get him it's like you kind of want to see their shit. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the same reason why I watch $40 million house tours in Aspen. I'm never going to buy a $40 million house in Aspen. But it's just the fact that like what does that even look like type shit. But look though, I think, okay, he might talk about this later. But this goes horribly wrong for way more people than it goes right for. The buying shit to look away for your brand, like that goes way, that goes wrong for more people than it goes right. But when it goes wrong, niggas is not gonna make videos saying it went wrong. You feel me? Except like sometimes when they're being reflective. So Fousey Tube talked about it in a podcast like a couple months ago. He talks about it a lot actually, where he said like on, at his peak when he was doing all those fake pranks, he bought two Ferraris. Nigga was buying Ferraris and shit. Nigga, he looked like that guy. He looked like he had infinite money. But eventually that money ran out. Nigga sold his Ferraris. And now, you feel me? He's working his way back up. And so it's like, this, it can work. It can work, especially if you need to look rich. So like, for example, rappers kind of have to look rich. Nobody would listen to like a broke rapper most of the time, right? Niggas call it corny and shit like that. Rappers have to look away. Rappers have to have chains. Rappers have to have these things. Otherwise, niggas just start calling them corny. But I feel like as a content creator, you don't need these things to be successful. But I do think like a Hellcat is a great investment because for the price of it, you get a lot back because the car's name holds so much value. You feel me? I don't think the same thing applies for like McLarens. I think if you got a McLaren, Niggas wouldn't care as much as if you got a Hellcat. But the McLaren costs way more. Way more. Yeah, that's interesting, bro. I didn't know DDG did that with 60,000 in his account. That's kind of fucking crazy. Niggas rolling the dice. More and more and more views. And then doing crazier and crazier Lambo. Niggas rolling the dice, videos bro. In general. Money, views, expensive shit, views, money, expensive shit, views, money. Blue Bucks Clan, the biggest rappers in LA right now. And yes, they're good at rapping. Expensive shit, views, money. Blue Bucks Clan, the biggest rappers in LA right now. And yes, they're good at rapping, but what separated them from every other rapper who was good at rapping was they just seemed rich as fuck. It's even in the name, Blue Bucks Clan. And that's what made them famous. Let's look at their first- I don't, I'm not familiar neither, but I didn't want to say who, because sometimes that comes off as disrespectful. <laughs> that's not the biggest in LA, bro. That's dope, that's great views. But that's not the biggest. LA has so many rappers. LA is probably the most populated rapper city there is. They rented these cars to appear rich. That got them views and plays on their music, which helped them make more money, which I got think them action. I matters more as a them to buy more cars. An exotic car company called Super Stupid let them have a Bentley truck for a few days in exchange for a shout out in the rap songs. Listen. You can't hit with a shout out Super Stupid. Niggas got me in the Bentley truck. Maybe I'll give one of y'all a Bentley truck for free. Somewhere in the last three minutes of the video. Now let's break down their finesse step by step. First, they had to spend it strategically. You may think, oh, they're renting cars, they're broke. No, if you add up the cost for all those rentals across all those videos, it's at least 100000 And if they save that 100000 like your parents or your dumbass teachers would probably tell you to do, they have a nice little apartment, a nice little <laughs> BMW. <laughs> they'll live in cheap shit, they'll be driving cheap shit. But instead, they took that risk and now they're Hey, chill on the BMWs, Next, they monetize though. the music. They're not signed to a major label. They got like 10 songs with a million plays on Spotify. Average plays like 5 million, so that's 50 million streams just on Spotify, and they're bigger on YouTube and Apple Music. So let's just say 150 million streams total. Spotify pays half a cent for each stream, so let's do the math. 150 million streams times half a cent. That's nah. 750,000. You want to flip 100 bands into 750? That's how you do it. And that's not even counting shows, features, promo. Murder. Yeah. But I hope you didn't think it was just rapper type individuals getting rich with this method. Ever heard of the Stradman, the biggest car YouTuber? I'm so glad he mentioned this nigga, the one that did it the best, bro. Yo, this nigga, I don't know where the fuck this nigga's money comes from. On God, I used to watch his videos like a year or two ago. Bro, he be buying a new car like every two months. And not like any car. He'll get cars before they come out it's on some shit. Like, I don't know how the fuck he gets access to shit. And I think he lives in Utah. Bro, his channel is like car porn, my nigga. I don't even know how to fucking close it off. On oh, God, I have no clue. 
Three hyper cars delivered to my hive to my house five days ago. Well, I've been filming way too many. Three hyper cars delivered to my house. Nigga didn't even want to separate them into three different videos. He just did it in one. Literally did this method as well. He started off homeless when he started his YouTube channel. Yo, Huncho, thank you for the 50 month three sub. What's up? Thank you for the 10 month three sub. And not just a Bugatti, 20 other cars too. Including Nuts. a Bentley truck. I may give you a Bentley truck. Watch to the fucking end. When he was sleeping <laughs> in his car, he didn't just do it anywhere. He did it in LA, which is the place for influencers to be. And there's also a ton of nice ass cars in LA. He was just making videos, filming the cars he saw. It's called car spotting. He built an okay audience with this and started getting a little bit of YouTube money. Over a couple years of the struggle, sleeping in his car, making YouTube videos every single day, he saved up around 90000 This is probably predictable at this point, but did he A, spend the 90000 on a <laughs> responsible investment? Put it in his fucking Roth IRA? No! He spent it all on a Lamborghini. Keep in mind, I don't even think he could afford rent at this time. He was sleeping on his boss's couch or something, and when he couldn't sleep there, he slept in the Lambo. That orange Lambo made his YouTube channel take the fuck off. And just like DDG, in that very next month, he made all the money he spent on that orange Lambo back and then he got a fucking white McLaren and one month after getting that white McLaren he hit a million subscribers on YouTube at this point he's the biggest car guy on YouTube he's making 150,000 a month and he's is he I'm sorry shit like that I gotta challenge that let me see what Tavares is doing because Tavares channel used to be popping Tavares channel still doing like two three mil per right it depends what you mean by the biggest bro it really depends what you mean by the biggest <clears throat> set for fucking life he just built a four million dollar house but he got there from sleeping in his limbo it's not just the strad man on the car side of youtube hoovy's garage did this as well hoovy's garage drives a million dollar lamborghini countach but oh my god the countach i used to hate that car as a kid but i fucking love it now bro he started from the motherfucking bottom like drizzy drake Hoovy was broke as hell, he didn't have shit, but he saw all the other car YouTubers already had all the nice cars, so he couldn't compete on that. That's why he bought the cheapest Mercedes S-Class in the country, because he knew that would get him a lot of views, and all those views made him a ton of money, which he used to buy the cheapest Phantom in the USA. More views, more money, better cars, repeating the cycle all the way up to a $2 million lamb chop with a shitty ass $4,500 car. So we know it works for white YouTubers, black YouTubers, but there's no way the greatest rapper of all time who happens to be white and black did this method right. The Drake. biggest rapper in the world, Drake, came up renting a fucking Rolls Royce. He even admitted it and made an Instagram post about it. Drake didn't just drive around the Phantom and rub on the leather. He used it to bring up his image in the city so that people would pop out to his shows more. He used it to drive to other people's shows to network with people like Cash XO and who put Drake and most Toronto artists on. But okay, rappers and car YouTubers, they both what? show that. But there are people who don't even do that to take advantage of this method. Motherfuckers are getting rich with nerd YouTube. This fucking guy, Ali Abdal, his claim to fame was how to take- <laughs> Yo, calling the educational side of YouTube nerd YouTube is fucking nuts, just to let you know. Take notes on an iPad. Six million of the stupidest fucking people on the planet learned how to take notes from him and built him a big ass YouTube audience. Why are they, wait, hold on, why are they stupid though? My nigga, taking notes is a skill. Real niggas know that. Some niggas suck at taking notes. That's not nerd. You don't have to be stupid to take, do you know what I'm saying? Like it's a skill to take notes the same way it's a skill to like skim read. Those are skills you learn them bitches, bruh. What is he talking about? Yo, Wizzo, thank you for the three month reset. Welcome back, tech, uh, tech, 2x thank you for the thank you for the sub welcome to the agency bro yes but then he sells that audience a fucking course like how to be the biggest nerd ever how to get zero bitches my bad bro you're way rich <laughs> but off that course he started making 27 bands a week Delay. he made a video on how to make 27 bands a week and it's his most popular video Okay, look, you the nigga spitting now, bro. He's spitting officially. Bro. Like, I'm sure he's a smart <laughs> dude or whatever, but he genuinely doesn't know shit about making money. Look at this. I showed you 10 ways to make 10 bands. From door-to-door -door sales, which anyone can do if you have the balls to talk to strangers. To dog trading, which anyone can do if they have the balls to go to Mexico. I'm giving you rare, unique ways to get rich. Whereas eight of his nine ways to get rich require you to already be a fucking famous YouTube nerd. Starting a YouTube channel. Starting. Okay, hold on. Let's double check these. <clears throat> uh, investing in stocks and shares. You don't have to be rich to invest in stocks and shares. Starting a YouTube channel, starting a podcast, becoming an affiliate, selling. Okay. The Fair. podcast, the same shit, becoming an affiliate marketer. It's like when you see the YouTubers put the Amazon referral links in their description. But you have to be big on YouTube for that. Selling a digital product, you need an audience to do that. Selling a course, you need an audience to do that. Also, a course is a fucking digital product. And this motherfucker has... <laughs> 12 million views, what the fuck? 
And actually, at first, I was keeping it cool, saying nerd jokes. I was just kidding. I'm the biggest fucking nerd. But now I really want to fight this asshole because he said this. That is all a scam. It's not going to work. There is no way to get rich quick. It is not a thing. So if you're looking for a get rich quick scheme, those things just... I'm sorry, dumbass who has more views than me for some reason. If there's no way to get rich quick, explain to me why my young nigga Xavier, at 18 years old, made 40 bands in the first three days of launching a clothing brand with TikTok. Explain to me how my boy Miles, at age 18, closed a $60,000 real estate deal. Now, drum roll, please. The section we've all been waiting for, how you can do it your fucking self and how I'm gonna make sure I help you. Step one is be great at making content. Quan was already making funny and very fashionable content. Drake made great music. Mr. Beast made clever and wacky YouTube videos. You have to get really clever good at content. And wacky. And there's four ways that anybody can do it, even if you're not an amazing rapper like Drake. One is great personality. Believe it or not, personality can be trained. Go to your local comedy classes if you're not fucking hilarious or outstanding person. Number two, great risk. People who take big ass risks in their content like Yes Theory don't have to be interesting or funny because people will still watch because they want to live vicariously through them. People who go to war zones in film or even a negative version of this is the people who do fucked up pranks like the acid attack prank or the kid that broke into someone's house at the end of the day if you do things other people are scared to do you will get tons of views next great value this is kind of where i come in okay Become an insanely valuable person gain an insanely valuable skill or just gain a ton of valuable information and then share that hormozy is another good example his content is never humorous or never really entertaining but you learn so much from watching it that everyone who wants to be someone watches alex hormozy's content last is a great camera if your content's bad in all the other ways but it's shot very well great choice of lenses great choice of shot and shot composition it will be so beautiful and mentally pleasing to watch that you will get tons of views okay now let's get to the part you wanted to hear how to get your fucking hellcat for free i showed you how to get forty thousand on rjack no chance whoa i just peeped this shit only has twenty four thousand miles on it is that true you can get a hellcat with twenty four thousand miles for 40k there's no way Net, but I'll reiterate it here. Step one, get amazing credit. If you don't have it, watch my other credit video. Step two, apply to credit unions. Navy Fed and DCU are two great ones that are both known to give you 20,000 on your first credit card as long as you step three. Get a fat pledge loan within my daily five or 10,000 for both and set up weekly deposits. But if you don't have that 10 to 20,000 to put down, but so I know this, you guys feel- This nigga's a nerd YouTube too. He's talking about some nerd shit. I, I guess it was just some friendly fire. Salvage title, yeah, it had to have had some accident or some shit. There's no way, yeah. Feel kind of weird about me selling a course. You guys feel like most courses are scams. So even though you do have to buy the course to get the full breakdown of how to get the Hellcat, and even though the course does come with a Hellcat guarantee, what if I gave you something better than a Hellcat? What if I put your bitch ass in a Bentley truck? Anyways, the last thing to consider That's before I address the fucking okay. oh God, it's not. is relationships. Literally all of these dudes use relationships to boost their clout. Whether it was real or fake, they implemented a girlfriend or wife into their channel because <laughs> females like that lovey-dovey shit. Half of the world's population is females. So by adding that shit in, you now appeal to females, literally doubling your viewership. So Luminati even said many times, I'ma start a fake relationship and get more views. Then he started a fake relationship and got more views. You think I'm not? Which all one? my girls in LA DM me on Instagram. Instagram. We'll get rich and famous. But now let's address the fucking elephant in the room. R Jack sells courses. Isn't R Jack doing this? And it's not the agent method. Why the hell is agent? Why y'all niggas saying that? Was I supposed to take a nigga with me to five dates, five states? <laughs> what did y'all want me to do? What, what am I supposed to take then? glitch right now let's set a couple things straight i was making thousands a day as a teenager i don't need your fucking money and besides the money i've made my knowledge of the financial system and how to finesse it is greater and besides that even harvard and wharton haven't made as many young niggas as rich as i have but yes i sell courses i made like 30 bands the past month off courses I damn know, but i'm giving it all back to you sixty thousand dollar porsche plus sixty thousand dollars worth of courses equals a hundred twenty thousand dollar bentley truck that i'm gonna give for free to one of y'all i swear to god i'm not lying if i am report my channel call me a scammer in every comment but it's not gonna be easy first off to enter you could buy a course or take action on any method that on my triangle the more views i get the more money i get the more money i can give for free to y'all get Nah, this nigga's using a money glitch of death right now, bro. But what he's saying, I think there's a lot of truth to what he's saying. But I'm going to say this, though, bro. No matter what you do, chat, like, content could be the backbone of what... Bro, I don't give a fuck what you do, my nigga. You could be an accountant. You can own a racetrack. You can have a clothing brand. No matter what you do, you can use content as the engine to sell more of that. And I truly believe in 20 years, fuck that. In five to 10 years, everyone is going to realize that 
and everyone's going to have entire departments dedicated to creating content. You don't need to pay $5 million to be on CNN's advertisements no more. You can do it for free organically if you have people smart enough to. So therefore, I don't give a fuck what you do for work. Content will 100% amplify that. Like, but if you work for fucking Walmart, you're not going to want to try to promote more Walmart. But I'm saying, though, like Walmart's going to want to do it. So Walmart's going to have a division for that now. And now it's going to be hella niggas. So if you have skills in content, I think there's going to be a ton of jobs opening up in that sphere. But fuck that. You can build your own shit, more importantly, so that you don't have to work for fucking Walmart. So I just think like, I think like when it comes to like creating skill, be like having skills that people need, I just think that that's gonna be super useful in the future, bro. Like no matter what, like think about it. Mark Rober used to work for NASA. Nigga is now making 100 million times more working for himself. And on top of that, he just created a fucking cool ass product on his channel. And he uses, These guys he, he uses content to sell it, this Crunch Lab shit. And he sells this to try and inspire kids to give a fuck about engineering and shit. This is just cool stuff you can build. And this is dope to me. So he's going to make millions of dollars off of this. And this content is the engine for the millions he's going to make off of this. But in the process, he's also just promoting just like cool, positive messaging. I think that's so dope to me. So like, I think this is a great meta. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is a fantastic meta. So shout out Mark Rubble. He's a great example of like how you do it perfectly. Like he has a great team.